We have a wealth of information that's available on our website and technical literature. But you yourself might be going into a chandlery shop and looking at epoxy systems. And there's a wealth of product out there that can be very, very confusing. Our West system epoxy is a system. It's a system of resin, hardness, fillers, and ciliary product that make this very, very easy to apply for a great many different tasks. We have our 105 resin, and we have our 205, our 206, our 207, and our 209 hardness. We have our range of fillers. Now quite where do you start? If you have a small job and you're based in the UK or Northern Europe, then we sell mainly our 205 hardener. This gives you a good working time. It gives you a good pot life of 10 to 15 minutes and gives you good quality working time right down to five degrees C. So it's very, very versatile. Our 206 hardener, we sell more of this to warmer countries, maybe in the Mediterranean, where you need 20 to 30 minutes of pot life and you're working in maybe above 16 degrees C. This is the product that we'll sell to the south of France or Spain or anywhere in the Mediterranean. These are different to the other two specialist hardeners in as much as these are a five to one ratio. And these specialist hardeners are a three to one ratio. Our 207 is a special coating hardener. This gives you fantastic flow characteristics when mixed with the, the 105 resin. And it has some, but only a small amount, of UV resistance. It must be overcoated with a very good quality two component varnish system. Our 209 hardener is very, very versatile for very, very hot conditions where you're working above 18 degrees C. This will give you a pot life of somewhere between 50 and 70 minutes. So we have already a very, very versatile element to our system with our 105 resin and our choice of hardness. Added to these products, which makes the system so very versatile, is the choice of fillers that you have. We can split our fillers down into high density fillers and low density fillers. Our high density fillers are for more structural applications where you're looking to gather structure, reinforce um, a, a structure, or um, fill and bond product together with a high degree of resilience. Our low density fillers are still incredibly strong, but they make sanding the filled mix a lot easier. So if you are filling a, a surface, in other words, filling a rough surface to make it smooth, you would choose a low density filler because it makes the task of sanding that much easier. We do have a range of pigments. These will pigment the mixed epoxy, but they won't create UV stability. Here we have our white pigment, but we have a range of three other pigments, blue, gray, and black. And they can be mixed with a small percentage to the mixed epoxy resin, and they will color. But remember, they do not possess UV stability. Of course, we have our peel ply fabric in either meter wide rolls, and a 100 millimetre wide peel ply tape. Added to these parts of the system is our ancillary products, such as our foam rollers, which provide excellent quality coatings, personal protection equipment, such as gloves, application tools, such as plastic squeegees, metering and mixing um, equipment, these pumps make life so much easier. They screw into the top of the resin container, top of the hardener container. They are calibrated as well to give you either the three to one ratio from a three to one pump set or the five to one ratio from a five to one pump set. You can see quite clearly that the hardener pump and the resin pump have a different stroke to them. So one pump of resin, one pump of hardener gives you the correct ratio. Then of course, to make a good job, you need excellent tools. We have 
a range of mixing pots that make mixing very, very straightforward because there's a very straight edge to them and no rebate on the inside for any residue of unreacted material. We have these wonderful plastic mixing sticks. How many times have I seen people using sawn off pieces of wood that then deposit uh, contamination, sawdust into their work and they always complain that they're getting a poor coating. These make life so much easier and they're reusable as well. And then we have a range of small brushes, inexpensive glue brushes for doing small jobs, white bristled uh, laminating brushes where you, if you actually do lose a brush hair from here you don't get it into the work and of course roller trays for applying the mixed epoxy.